What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What is today, uh, ladies and gentlemen? You know who it is. You see that lovely face in the picture right there? Visit all the sites. Also, I turned Instagram into a workout thing. So, oh, hold on. Somebody's pushing me. There he is. He always wants to grab the spotlight. Good old Jonathan. Good luck, Jonathan, President of Nigeria. And today we're going to talk about something people wanted me to talk about based on a video I did earlier. Which some of you don't understand. It's the ignorance around this. If this gay is the new black thing that's being pushed upon us, which a lot of you, a lot of you roll over Negroes like lap dogs are falling for it. Now, I'm in a multitude of Facebook groups. Put me in some good Facebook groups. Don't put me in some lame ones where you're just taking pictures of catfish and y'all you know, ain't doing nothing. You got 20,000 people, not five of y'all can get in business together and make some money. Well, but that's another discussion for another day. But uh, I get, I, we were talking about, and I made a couple videos before this, about on this topic. And uh, we were talking about uh, why should we deny black people? Or, or, or there was a lot of a lot of soft-hearted Negroes talking about, well, well, no, what black people went through, why shouldn't we, shouldn't we do this for gays? Number one, I'm going to hit you guys off on, and everything I'm saying is, is historical fact, and what I say is religious fact, and what I'm saying is facts. And everybody wants to borrow my lines, man. Let's borrow some of those lines. Number one, let me sit you with some religious fact. Number one, slavery is not barred from any religion. So whenever you want to talk crime line about being a slave, it's not barred from that white Jesus you love so much. It's not barred from that white like, like Muhammad you love so much, it's not barred from uh, outside of maybe Buddhism. Slavery is not barred out of any religion. There were slaves in every religion. It comes and goes. And, and, and Jesus said, be a good slave if you don't know your Bible, which a lot of y'all don't. But you want to tell me about it. That's religious fact. Now let's go on historical fact. Whatever, would, let me tell you something. There was, there was two key decisive moments that happened within the last year and a half, two years. Never, never do it. The, 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 the gay marriage thing came up in front of the Supreme Court. The voting rights for black people came up also. It was in the Supreme Court. And I try to tell people majority of black homosexuals, and I'm going to say about 90% of them, because like I said, I was down in DC a couple of times and I, I seen this firsthand. They chose to ride the gay way. They went over to black folks talking about, hey, we need to vote and do this and that, which I was, that's the side I was on. <coughs> Excuse me. They were on the side that they wanted to get their marriage on. So a lot of you are saying, for, I mean, I tell you all the time, they got to choose a side. Look, there, there cannot be, you cannot have five million agendas. You got to have one agenda and you got to go, go for, once you go from your agenda, you run, you run and go. But the problem being having the gays on your side is they have their own separate agenda come hell or hot water, they're going to do it with or without you. And if you have them on your side, there's going to be corruption amongst the group. But a lot of you soft-hearted Negroes fell for that. And I, I see this all the time. People are going to be like, well, well, what about slavery? What about it? You love Jesus and Jesus said slavery was cool. You love Muhammad and Muhammad said slavery was cool. Don't get mad at me for religious and historical facts. And then when I tell people about the, the the civil rights voting thing coming up and along with that, well, I wasn't aware of that. Hey, that's not my fault you're ignorant. It's not my fault that you choose to put a fucking million selfies on Facebook and make no money, by the way. Let's not forget this. When you're on Instagram and you're making no money, by the way, let's not forget that. Now, if I'm on something, I'm making cash. Let's put it that way, number one. But I'm arguing with people who, number one, don't know how to turn over a profit. I'm arguing with people who don't have no entrepreneurial spirit. I'm arguing with people who don't know their own Bible yet want to ram it down my throat. I'm arguing with the same people who don't know nothing about the Quran and want to tell me everything about it. When I kick facts about this, you can't say nothing. All you can say is, well, you're just, I'm not discriminating. Look, if we, if we came together, say there's, I may not, I may not agree with homosexuals and their lifestyles, but if, it, if the group that we came together and we had a certain agenda, 
I work with them. But let, I let them know, look, their their agenda is not the same as my agenda, and our agenda is our agenda is first and foremost. I can work with that. If you can't work with that, then you, you ride somewhere else. And here's and here's another reason: the black folks that are homosexual rode with the homosexual wave. Wonder why? Because the homosexual wave had the nar, the nars. They had the nara. They had cold lettuce. They had cash. Black folks. It's all right to, like, you'll march for a minute, but it comes to putting money behind your action, you'll, you'll look around for everybody else to do it, but you won't want to do it. You'll want some rich brother or sister who's made it. Well, maybe they should, they should, they should fund the hood. No, no, dumbass, you live in the hood. Why don't you fund the hood? You want to know why? And, 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 and I call you guys empty pockets. You want to know why? Because you'll want to cry about Michael Jordan talking about all these prisons, which he never talked about. And he gave, he gave money to all these, like, charities. And you haven't gained money to the Salvation Army when you go to Walmart. The fact of the matter is this. I have no problem with homosexuals. I'm pointing out what has happened in history. I'm, I'm using your Bibles. I'm using your Quran. And if you're an atheist, hey, fuck you anyway. But the point of that is, I will never, their, their agenda can never be in front, in front line center. Like, we, may, we can address the issues they're having, but their agenda can never be the front line. Their agenda is more off to the side. Their agenda is what is just thrown in the bill. If you, if you know anything, which a lot of you Negroes should know by now, well, you don't. Whenever Congress has a bill, there's a lot of pork thrown into it. The gay agenda would be the pork thrown into it. It wouldn't be the headline. It would be like, like the Highway like the highway Act. And you throw something in like, well, beekeepers get like a 50% discount on taxes or if they buy from so-and-so. That's how you would work the gay agenda. It wouldn't be the front line and center. It'd be on some, you know, it'd be the pork in the middle. But the fact remains, if, if you see soft hearted Negroes can quit crying and quit saying, well, what black things are black people have gone through? Wait a minute. Are you gay or are you black? There's, that's another thing. What, what, what do you recognize first? And you know what? If, if, if they don't recognize and give me an excuse, they're gay. They recognize the gay first before they recognize their ethnic ethnicity. You wanna know why? Because they think it's cool and they think the gay folks love them. Guess what? The gay folks are just as racist as the straight white folks. They don't love you either. So the fact remains, you can get mad all you want, but at the end of the proverbial day, if if you're willing to grow, if you're willing to go to hell, don't get mad when it comes looking for you. Alright? I'm out of here. Peace.